The 2020 project pan has come to an end and I am here with my very final update. So if you are curious to hear how I did in the last month or two of the previous year and if I've used up any more products since my last update, then please keep on watching. Hi guys, we are doing a really exciting video. We're doing the grand finale to my very, very first official project pan. It was a year long rolling project pan for the entire year of 2020. It was the hashtag team project pan that the gals from Beauty News created. I will go ahead and link all of their channels and information down below. And because I don't want this to be yet another half hour long video, as these usually tend to be, we're going to jump right into this update. But before we do, if you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Natalia and I am doing a low buy and a budget in the year of 2021. I just came off of an entire year long no buy for the entire year of 2020 and I don't plan on changing all that much. I am giving myself a little bit of a budget to play with every month. You will see a video all about that sometime soon I promise I know I am behind schedule what else is new but if you are interested in conscientious and mindful uh, spending and any sort of content that revolves around that be it shop my stash project pan videos such as this then I hope that you will consider subscribing and sticking around and joining our frugal family without further ado let's jump in to this final update on my 2020 project pan all right, we're gonna try to breeze through this. And just so you guys know, I will be doing a 2021 project pan and it will be a lot more exciting this year. It's gonna be a lot more exciting. So stay tuned, you're gonna see why. This is gonna be big. I absolutely cannot wait. That video is most likely going to go up right after this one, if it's not up already. If it's up already, then you already know the big news and I'll link it. But I have a feeling I'm gonna try to edit this one and get this one up before I announce my 2021 project pan so subscribe and stay tuned let's do this primer the makeup forever what is this thing called i always forget it is the step one skin equalizer it is this tiny little thing i've used it a few times since my last update but i did not manage to use it up completely you will have to wait to see if i decide to go ahead and keep this in my 2021 project pan or if it's going to roll out for the time being i am not going to get rid of this product regardless this is going to stay in my collection because i have a feeling it's some point i can use this up right i can use this up this is not that much product so it would be almost like a little embarrassing if i couldn't use that up for foundation i have my two l'oreal pro glows i have used these several times in the month of december pretty much every video you saw in december i used a bunch of these products they were on my desk december was crazy i had a bunch of things going on including this giant cold sore situation that prevented me from filming for half the month but when i was able to and then for the holidays i was reaching for these they they still have product left although this one is is almost done. This one, which is in 201 Classic Ivory, definitely has very little product left. I can even feel it's like a lot lighter, whereas this one still has a bit more. I always try to remember to tell you guys this. I do have a scale, but it's crap. If it shows any change in terms of weight, I usually try to snap a photo and do a comparison photo somewhere on the screen for you guys. If there's no change, I don't bother because, you know, why? Okay, for concealers, I had the two. I had the Maybelline Fit Me, but this time in 10 light. I had used the 15 Fair earlier in 2020, so, you know, last year. And then I had the Urban Decay Naked Skin. I am actually trying to look in my ring light. So I think I have about that much left of the Maybelline Fit Me. This is exclusively what I used for the whole month of December, but I also only wore makeup maybe a total of, I don't know, six six to eight times. So there's some progress, but these did not get fully used up and that's okay. I didn't actually expect them to. I just wanted to get as much use out of these products as possible. To set the concealer, I used this Ilia Soft Focus Finishing Powder. And this is actually kind of exciting because you could see, hopefully, I did try to draw a starting line and then another line to approximately where I am right now. So I am actually plowing through this. And again, you guys will have to see 
which of these products I decide to roll into my 2021 project pan and which ones I decide not to. There will be a few repeats, definitely not everything, so um, stay tuned for that. For regular powder, I was using this Physician's Formula Youthful Wear Youth Boosting Powder in translucent illuminating finish. I did not end up hitting pan as I was hoping I would in December. I just kept using it and there is a bit of a dent but again i guess considering i only wore makeup like six to ten times it's whatever whatever that amounts to which isn't that much for bronzer right, who's been with me who's waiting for this who's waiting for this be honest tell me it's gone it's finally gone just kind of fitting considering how i don't curse on my channel but how crafty doodle dandy hourglass has been lately to people of color i love these powders but now i have to wait for possibly a very long time at the rate hourglass is going to ever repurchase these because until they come out with more shades i am not going to so yes this is my very first face palette of any kind with multiple hands that is leaving my collection because it's actually empty that is so exciting that is so exciting yes blush blush is less exciting but i kept using it throughout december i think this was exclusively no i think i used one or two blushes once but then i kept using this and um you can see i kept using it because it keeps crumbling like there's there's something happening right up there but i am continuing to use it this is one of my favorite blushes in my collection however i think i will need to give it a break so spoiler alert this will not be coming into my 2021 project pan yes i didn't hit pan on it yes i clearly didn't use it up yes there's still a ton of product but it is flat by now I don't even know if I got any product by doing that. So that's exciting. It is completely flat and there's even a bit of a dip in the center. So I feel like I did do a little bit of damage in the last couple of months of 2020. So that is, for me, that is really exciting because it's a blush. I've never used a blush, nor to be honest, do I ever really expect to. If it happens, I'm throwing a party. I'm throwing a party. For highlighter. I rolled out a highlighter in my previous update and I rolled in this cream product by Becca. This is in Pearl and I have been using it. I think once or twice I used it under my foundation and just to give me a little bit of an extra glow especially since we are in the dead of winter and my skin my skin is not happy and then if i would forget to do that i would just dab it on the high points of my cheeks before i go in with the powder highlighter i think once or twice i didn't even bother doing that though i just used this i don't have this on today i actually put on a few products from what's rolling into my 2021 project pan because i thought i might be able to film that video today i'm exhausted i filmed one video right before this and it is already like one o'clock in the morning so it's not gonna happen today but regardless you guys can see i mean there's not much left there was a bit more when i started in my third update i didn't mark any of this and i don't even know if i took a picture so hopefully you know if you guys have been here with me you will have remembered that there definitely was a little bit more product and i did my best to use at least some of this so we'll have to see if i am going to try to use that up in 2021 or what I do. I guess uh, let's go in with eye products. For eyeliner, I rolled in my Clinique liner. This is the quick liner for eyes. There's no way I can tell you anything. This thing does not roll back down, so I can't roll it all the way up. This is the only black liner I have been using for the past month and a half, so clearly there is some progress, but unfortunately I can't tell you how much. For brows, it's always been the benefit, give me a brow. You can't even see anything. That's because everything's rubbed off. You know, it's almost done. And I know that because there's very little product coming on the brush. But because this is such a 
holy grail, I tend to milk it to its last drop. So even if I don't roll this back into a project PM, I'm going to keep using this behind the scenes until it's completely gone. I think I have one or two other products that are sort of like this, you know, these tinted brow gels. So I'm going to try those out in 2021 before I repurchase this and see what I think. And if those don't hold a candle to this, I'm just going to bite the bullet, spend the money, repurchase this because this is the only brow product I had ever used before 2020, before starting my YouTube channel. And I had been using this for probably at least five or six years. So clearly I like this thing. For mascara, I actually didn't roll in an, a mascara. I rolled in this Lancome Seals Booster XL. This is kind of a cult favorite in that category of product. And I have tried to use this every single time I put on mascara. And I can't call it fully done, but there's very, very little product left in here. So again, like you could see just a little bit came off on the tip right now. So this is again, one of those products I will keep using behind the scenes until it's gone just because at this point I might as well it'll make me feel good if I use it up it makes my lashes thicker and heavier but I don't know if I actually like that because I feel like they're a little too goopy for my personal taste while I really do like dramatic lashes I don't necessarily want them to be clumpy and heavy looking like I still want them to be wispy and separated I hope that makes sense but that's basically what I got to say about that. I should have primer. It's still the Marc Jacobs under cover. I feel like it again has more of a bubble. I don't know what I did to it. I mean, I keep using it. It's not going anywhere anytime soon. This might be something I roll back in in 2021 just because I am so curious at this point. How long does it really take for me to use up an eyeshadow primer? How long? How many years is this going to take? Um, and then since we're talking about eyeshadow primers, I didn't make too much of a progress on the Lorac Pro Matte Palette. I think I expanded the pan on that white shade just a tiny little bit. And um, the dip in the pink mauve might be a little deeper, but I still never got a chance to hit pan on it. And that's because, uh, you know, I was distracted by other palettes. I was trying some other palettes in my own collection. And then at the very end of December, I actually got two palettes as gifts. One from a fellow YouTuber, Ruby Minhouse. She gifted me the BH Sweet Shop Pistachio Palette, and I did a video on that in case you guys are curious. And then uh, another special somebody gifted me the Lunar Beauty, the Moon Spell Palette. So I've been playing with that, and that is partially what is on my eyes. For this, I was debating whether I want to keep this or get rid of it at this point. 2021 is Aside from being a low buy and a budget year for me, I am hoping is also going to be kind of like a quasi declutter year. So I think I'm going to keep this for now, see if I'm reaching for it for any of these supplemental shades. And when it's time for me to do my official declutters, we will figure this out. Alrighty then, for lip products, Charlotte Tilbury. She keeps getting smaller and smaller, but Pillow Talk Lip Cheat is still, still here. Still here to stay for 2021. I'll see, I might roll this out, go with something else, or I might change my mind and decide to go ahead and use this up because it is an expensive lip liner and I really do want to get my full use out of it. Now the other three lip products I had in here, I had this Bite Beauty, this was the Matte Cream Lip Crayon or Matte Creme Lip Crayon in Pastille. I did use this a couple of times, but you can see there's like a tiny little dome. I do have this also today a little bit over a different lip product. There's a part of me that just wants to say like, screw it, this is done. But then there's that part of me that likes to scrape out every little bit from product that wants to use this up. So again, I think for this project pan, I'm going to consider this done, but behind the scenes, since this is probably two uses, and that is if I dig in there. Without digging in, it's one use. I might use this up just on my own sweet time, but we're going to consider this as a product done because, I mean, honestly, honestly, for my very first project pan especially, I'm going to give myself this as a product completed. 
Sephora cream lip stain in 01, always red. I did use this a few times in December because I did a whole lip swatch video of all of my red lipsticks. I'll go ahead and link that up in the cards and then I think I wore it for another video. Still smells lovely. I've had this for the longest time. There's still product in there. It is one of my favorite reds to wear on stage during those pre-pandemic years when musicians could actually perform live concerts in front of an audience. So I'm going to roll this out but keep it in my collection because this is one of my ultimate reds ever. And then for lip gloss, we have this Buxom Full On Lip Cream in Dolly. You can see I used it, but very, very little. Part of the reason was because I did have a cold sore for a good chunk of December. So of course, lip products were completely out of the question. As it is, I went through and sanitized everything that I had worn in like the few days prior to getting that cold sore. So yeah, this didn't really get much love. And then we still have this. This is the Project Beauty Spray Set and Go Makeup Setting Spray. This is another gone and out item. There's a teeny tiny bit left. No matter what I do, I cannot spray it. So we're calling it quits. This is done. So that is the third product we're counting as body care. I had this Skin Fix Resurface Glycolic Renewing Scrub. I don't know if you guys can see even through the help of my ring light, but I am right here. I was really hoping to use this up. I think I was about there on my last update. I used about half of what I had. I tried. I just, I guess I just, in general, December and so far, the start of January have been a little rough on me, just mentally. I need to get better at self-care. I need to get motivated. So I could have done better. I'm going to finish this on my own. I won't consider it as done because of course there are still products left inside but it got close. Um, I rolled in a skincare product last time. It was this herbivore prism, this natural food acid. This I did actually make an effort and it was almost full when I rolled it in and I am down to a little less than half. So I'm actually quite happy about that. Did I fully use it up? Clearly not but you know I, I still will. I'll continue using it. It'll happen at some point. Hair care, I picked out this Biosilk Color Therapy, I think in my second update. I think I used it only once or twice since my last update, since my third update. And I already told you guys in that update, I really was not enjoying this. I was especially not enjoying the smell. And I don't know, I guess because it was like the end of the year, a few products in my stash just went into the trash because it's like, why am I torturing myself? I really don't like this. I think it's gone off. I've had this for years. It came in a subscription box. Who knows what this was supposed to smell like. I don't know. I feel like right now it has the remnants of what it was supposed to smell like with an extra pungent chemical scent that probably is coming out as this is starting to go bad. And I just I just don't want to do that to my hair. My hair in general in 2020 has taken a severe turn for the worst. The texture of it is changing. It's aging clearly. It's thinning. It's less manageable. I don't know what is going on with it, but I just don't want to torture it with anything that I don't trust and that I don't enjoy putting into my so this is going to go into my January empties. And then last but not least was my Marc Jacobs Decadence Perfume. And while again, I did not use this up this year, we are down to here. And honestly, considering we were in a pandemic and not going anywhere for so many months, I think I started the year somewhere here maybe or something like that. So I definitely used a good chunk of this humongous 3.4 ounce 100 uh, milliliter bottle. So I'll continue using Using it and at least I gave it a good go and an honest effort and I did have actually a perfume empty in my latest empties video so if that has gone up I can go ahead and link that in case you're curious about some other things that I've used up in 2020 it's actually a really really big one because it is the last four months of 2020 rolled into one video because I was running behind anyone surprised that Natalia was running behind schedule definitely a goal for 2021 I know I will always be a procrastinator. I know I will always be behind on something, but I'd like to get better at certain things. And even if I can't get everything in order and everything running smoothly and everything running on time, I would love to at least try to get some things running on time. 
that wraps it up for my 2020 project pan. I really hope you enjoyed this last and final update. Please, please stay tuned for my upcoming 2021 project pan. As I mentioned, it's going to be really, really fun and exciting. So I hope you will join me for that. And if you're doing a project pan, whether you're a creator or not, please let me know down below. Please let me know what products you have already picked out to use up this year. And if you have videos on that, please make sure to let me know so I can go check those out. And other than that, I hope that you guys are doing really, really, really well. One last reminder to please subscribe if you haven't already. And I hope that you guys are staying safe, that you're continuing to take care of yourself and those around you. And I can't wait to see you in my next video. Bye.